guys getting a hey there guys getting about ready to uh, do my testing okay another quick uh, your fire testing I'll do this right after I show you this um, last video or I might even do it on this video if you don't mind the walk or I could do it right here in the shop actually um, okay so there's the eggshell or egg container wax and there's the impregnated jute twine or wax of jute twine um, and in here okay that's what I call homemade fat wood. Um, you can do this with pine resin, which is just tree sap. You get a bunch of tree sap. I recommend doing that outside because that, and be careful because that is extremely flammable. Um, I'll show you that in a video, how to do that with uh, twine. But if you have a lighter right there and it was boiling, it would it, uh, light on fire. Um, so what I did was I took a few good chunks and shavings. Like uh, that long one right there is going to go into my pack. Um, these ones I might just uh, shove in a tiny bag and use my start fires um, but I like the longer shavings because they're easier to shave off of with a knife and get uh, fine fine shavings but um, what you do is again the melted wax doesn't matter what kind of wax candle paraffin wax whatever you prefer it doesn't have to be fancy um, and wood just little chunks of wood you want to boil the wax um, it doesn't have to be on the stove um, it, it, you can turn the stove on and it'll fizz when it, the wax comes to a boil and when it stops fizzing, is uh, you can stir it around a little bit. Oh, almost spilled that. I've spilled enough wax already. Um, and it looks like this is all pretty much ready. And then you just want to pull that stuff out and let it soak. And that dries fairly fast, so I'll show you on the walk. Um, I'm going to take my pliers here and start pulling this stuff out. Really easy to make. You can get the products anywhere. It's just wood. Again, I don't recommend using um, pressure treated wood because it can be toxic and make you really sick. Uh, but as long as you're not going to cook on the fire for a while, it's fine. And generally, by the time the fire is started, it's good. Again, I just use my little propane portable stove that I use for shorter backpacking trips better usually longer stays otherwise I'll just use my lighter um, kit I'm gonna use these pry bar to get this stuff out of here because um, it's again it's a pound canister of propane although it lasts forever that's why I use it for shorter hikes um, for longer trips you know uh, when it's worth it so there's that um, I got a few more chunks in there. I'll show you that when I show you how to start a fire with um, Fair and Rod. Um, I got a few video plans. You know, if you got any ideas, just tell me what to what you got. Um, again, I just use any kind of wax. Right now, I'm using an old candle. I just drop that in there, and it melts when the stove's on. It'll melt a little bit right now because of the temperature. All right, so let's head out. Um, I'll show you. I'll bring my knife and lighter, um, and I'll show you how well this stuff starts. Alright, um, again, I don't have a tripod, so you'll have to watch as I get it all shaved and, and torn, and I'll try and show you guys how to tear it correctly. Um, but there it is, taking a walk outside. There's your yard. Okay, so there's a tray. Um, move some of this stuff just so I don't have a whole bunch of things on fire. Again, this stuff lights pretty good, I found out. Um, let's see, it's got kind of a different look than just like dry pine like this one looks kind of dry. It'll be a different look to it. Um, so, first up we have this. That is our eggshell do with the lighter is you just light the sections 
sorry, the slider is not meant to be used too long. Oh, come on. Now I'll start lighting pretty good here. I'm going to go get a, um, some water just in case. Uh, and I'll be right back in. You guys can watch that. Okay, and as you can see, it gets pretty high there. It's a great fire starter, and it'll burn like that for a while. Um, I put a lot of wax. And wax that doesn't melt as fast works really good, too. As you can see, that burns a good long while. Just because that wax slows down the burning process of the cardboard and what's inside. And that's one I really jam-packed. Um, my only problem with these is, I mean, they're great, but they are just bulky. So, you know, you got a few fires to start, you know, assuming you have coals. You don't have to worry too much um, about too many fires having to be started. But, you know, your campfire, that's going to be a lot of that so you're gonna have to have a few of these that's why the jute twine is really a benefactor it's real easy I bet you I could even put some jute twine in one of these but they're just great fire starters and I'm gonna put that one out but um yeah because it's just gonna make this video really cool but you get the point. It burns real nice. It's just not wanting to go out. But um, it it works great. It really does. <laughs> um. They're just awesome. I love them. You can see it, it didn't even start to burn. There's still kind of hot wax in there. The wax started to drip through the bottom. Get the water out of there. I can probably reuse that one. I just need to refill it with wax. Um, but yeah, those burn a while. Again, they're great fire starters. Uh, you know, there's the wax one. I'm gonna dump this off real fast here, just so nothing is all wet. And we'll use the other side, because this stuff doesn't burn as long, and I didn't have to pour water on it. Um, okay, so, you twine. Le jute twine. Um, jute twine impregnated wax, so you want to um, try and spread it apart. You're going to lose some of the wax in this process, but it's good. And we'll just take one strand off of that piece of twine. You want to fluff it up pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you want to get generally really fluffed up, and it works real nice. Again, you know, the uh, good fire starters in the wilderness, I uh, just shave, um, 
shave up some trees real fine, you know, if you got your ferrum rod or the, the bow drill, stuff like that. Um, good clump of moss works. So there's that. See how it's a nice fluffed up ball? That one's not going to burn too long because it's a smaller thing. So I'd estimate, one. Well, I didn't condense it any, but it'll burn a while. I'd say about a good two, three minutes, maybe you get lucky longer. Um, but again, I only used a strand of that. I, I'm going to use all that actually right now, all that's left, just to show you. There's two strands on here, so that multiplied, plus if I condensed it, um, would have worked better. So again, I'm going to sit here and fluff it up. Um, I'm going to do it off camera just because it's easier. You kind of lose a little bit of the wax in this process, but the wax is still going to be there. Stick some of that right there. Yeah, see, there's like multiple strands. There's Actually, there's four strands. So yeah, I'd say a good five minutes is what that's going to burn. So you fluff it up, and it works real good. It's so peaceful out here today. It's starting to, the sun's starting to go down. Um, the only problem with the jute twine one, you know, there's downfalls to every tinder. Um, it's fairly waterproof, so is the other one um just it's not best leave out in the rain you know stuff like that um so there's that you know it's uh it's got some benefits it's really a good fire tinder um another one is doritos you know if you're ever out there doritos are great just don't eat them <laughs> after you've lit them on fire Okay, and then I'm going to condense this a little bit, just so it's, it'll burn a little longer. Um, and there's the jute twine again. It takes hardly anything. It lights real good with the ferro rod. It'll burn a while. Oh, it's not going to condense it. Um, it'll burn like that for a good while, enough to get a good flame going on your fire. Okay, we'll put that one off to the side. See that? I'm gonna start shaving the homemade fat wood. Ouch. You want a really dry wood for this? Um, just because it'll absorb everything a little better. But that's a great fire starter. It's lightweight, burns fairly good. I had pregnant it the right kind of wax. Paraffin wax works really good. Clear candle wax, but the more you put stuff in the wax, the less it's gonna burn. So there's a little tinder pile of uh, the fat fat wood. Um, fat wood is really nice in general. Burns real good. Um, you can buy it online, you can, uh, if you have pine trees, you can go around and find it. If you don't have pine trees, you can even make your own, or if you do have pine trees but you can't find fat wood, you can just take the sap, melt it down, you can do that outside, and you'll have shavings like that, and you know, it'll start fairly nice little fire. Even if you really want it, you can... Uh, these are just little tinder piles. 
you know, they're not going to do a whole, whole lot of what you want them to do right now because they're smaller. So uh, rule of thumb is always do more than you think you have to because it's better to use a whole lot than not too much and be able to do nothing. So there's that. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. There's your fire tests and cool way to make decent fat wood. Again, boil sap. You can put that in there, that works real good. Or just candle wax, really hot candle wax. Seems to absorb in there pretty nice. Um, here another guy, just soak the wooden tiki oil, uh, dry it off a little bit, and then coat it in the wax, and that works pretty good. Alright. Alright, thanks for watching. Oh, and then just to show the water deterrent of the fatwood. You know, it, it, the water just kind of beads up there. You can see that. Alright, thanks for watching.